acclaimed singer-songwriter Tommy Keene has died. You may not recognize the name, but you've heard his music, likely. R.E.M., The Goo Goo Dolls, The Gin Blossoms. Keene worked with all of them, and he grew up right here in Bethesda. News 4's Mark Seagraves has more on the musical legend. Take a look. He's known for helping to create the power pop sound. His emotional songwriting, searing guitar work, and good looks seemed enough to propel Tommy Keene to superstardom. In 1984, he burst onto the national scene with his hit, Places That Are Gone. He really didn't sound like anyone else. Seth Hurwitz, who owns the 930 Club and the Anthem, managed Keene's early career in the 80s. He recalls one of the early bands Keene played in. The Raz. I've seen a lot of bands in my day, obviously. I mean, they were absolutely, to this day, one of the best bands ever. Not just from D.C., ever, anywhere. Just phenomenal. While Keen, who grew up in Bethesda, never achieved that superstardom, he did have a prolific career as a songwriter and guitarist. Famed local musician Bob Berberick, who played with Nils Lofgren and Grin, says Keen's unique sound that became known as power pop inspired countless other musicians. But it's like very melodic, as opposed to just raw rock and roll. It was like melodic in the sense like the Beatles were melodic, only it had a harder back, you know, back beat and a harder guitar, guitar riffs. That same beat that Keen broke out in his 1984 hit could still be heard in this recent performance at the Black Cat in May. Just knowing what a really sweet, great guy he was, and it comes through the music. I think, you know, the, the goodness of him as a human comes through. He was a cool guy, you know, he was, a, he was one of the cool guys. He was always cool. According to a statement on Keene's website, the pop star died peacefully in his sleep. Mark Seagraves, News 4. For more on how the music industry is remembering Tommy Keene, open our NBC Washington app, search Tommy Keene. Now at 6 tonight, long lines and busy stores on this Black Friday, but are the door buster deals enough to get your business? An early look at how many records are being set online. Plus, a house fire turns deadly, adding to the heartbreak for one local family, losing a husband and wife in the same month. And the world condemns a cowardly terrorist attack in Egypt. The latest response to that deadly attack that killed hundreds at a mosque. News 4 at 6 starts now.